I'm here with my May favorites video. I did try a couple of new things for this month and I wanted to share that with you. So with that said, I'm going to start with some eye products. Um, Ulta was having a buy one get one half off on their the entire line of makeup so I wanted to try their nude matte eyeshadows and I went online and they were all sold out so I wanted to just try a nice matte brown. So this is the color. This one is called Blame It on Midnight and it's a perfect perfect blending color. It's a nice um, warm brown and I have it swatched right in the middle right here. And I find that this is just so flattering and it does, it's not overpowering as a blending color and it just provides a really nice transition. I believe if, especially since if you are darker, I think this one is a really, really pretty blending color. The next eyeshadow I've been loving is also from NYX. Actually, all the eyeshadows that are my favorites this month is from NYX. And this one is called Hawaiian Coffee. And this color looks like this, and here's the swatch of that. And it's a very, very pretty um, plummy dark brown with like red undertones. And I find that this is such a flattering outer V. It's just really nice and natural looking without being too overpowering as a black to like darken the outer V area of your eyes. So this has been my go-to outer V product. And then the last one is the eyeshadow called Silk. It's that color right there and there's a name. And ever since I got back from my vacation from last week, went to the peach, so I'm a lot darker, I find that this color has been a perfect highlight color because it's not so white. It's kind of like a skin tone but kind of shimmery color. It's not stark white, especially since I'm a lot tanner from my vacation. I really like I didn't like anything that was white because it just emphasized how dark I was getting. So I really like that color. And then the last one is the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeshadow pencil. This one is in Sin. And this has been my go-to product to brighten up my under lashes area. Basically, I just kind of run this through my lashes and then apply my mascara underneath there. And this has just been so pretty and perfect and it makes your eyes look wide awake and just brings a lot of light in your eyes without getting too chalk, without looking too chalky or and whatnot. So I really like that. And then for another makeup product is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Doll Face. I actually just have this little bit bitty size of it. I don't have the full size. I bought this together with the, um, it comes with a little duo. So it's kind of like a try me duo. It's only $15, but I've had this for like four months and I haven't even hit pen on it. I'll probably buy the full size product of it, but it's a very nice muted pink. And judging that you you think you might not show up on you especially if you get tanner this shows up a lot more because it's a bright pink color without being too like in your face pink so it's a very very pretty blush and the last makeup item for this is this mascara by great lash and I don't use this as an actual just like on my upper lashes I use this on my bottom lashes and this one is the royal blue color and it's basically just has the traditional little but this one is so blue like especially if you're going on vacation or you're going somewhere sunny and you wanted like a pop of color on your lower lashes this is like the perfect mascara for this just apply on your lower lashes and it's like an instant pop especially if you appear around the sun it's a very nice pop of color especially under the sun it just pops because it's so blue so that has been a favorite since it's been really really sunny and it's just kind of like nice from a traditional um, all black mascara so it's just a nice pop of color and then for beauty tools um, this is kind of like a no surprise I already reviewed this on my last review and this one is the Real Techniques brush in the expert face brush and this is just the perfect foundation brush I've been using it every day it's dirty as usual so yeah I have a full review on this brush if you guys want to know more this one right here is the Coastal Sense I think this was the Destiny pointed blender I think but I don't think they have this exact 
product but they may have something similar but I've been using this kind of like a nice very precise um, crease color it's been a perfect brush for it I've washed this a lot of times and it's kind of ca it's kept it shaped which is really impressive it's still pointy and it's super soft so good job Coastal Suns for this brush and then for a another I forgot that I have this lipstick um, this one is called is by elf and this one's only a dollar I use this on my $20 tag and it's called seductive and this one is such a pretty natural color and if you do use this as a blush it gives such a nice flush you know if you're like you know pinched on time you don't have any time to do your makeup and just put that on your face and you're good to go and then for a nail polish I've been loving this Nicole by OPI and this is one of the Kardashian colors and this one is called Up and Coming Pink Kiming Pink and I have it swatched on my pinky I don't have any nail polish on but I have it swatched on my pinky right here and it's a very pretty baby pink color there's a true color So there's that and it's just really nice especially on the toes it makes your toes super tan looking so so that's pretty much it for the makeup products and I and moving on to something not so makeupy but I tried a new shampoo this month um, and it's called the clear scalp and hair therapy and I have this strong length one um, I I've always been using the head and shoulder shampoo because I do have um, really thick hair and I when I do want to clean my hair I want it to be super clean and head and shoulders like I've, I kind of grew up on that shampoo so I've never really strayed from it so I love that shampoo so I wanted to try something different I wanted to try something new it's kind of like the same area as head and shoulders so I wanted to try this and the main thing I really love about this shampoo is the scent it smells amazing head and shoulder shampoo have like the same kind of manly-ish scent to them but this one smells so good I know I, it reminds me of something from like when I was little like this fragrance but I just don't know what it is but it's a really good smelling shampoo and so far so good I haven't had any issues with it and it kind of cleans the same as the head and shoulders so I really like it and as far as a kind of b-lister product um, I kind of tried two things that I wasn't really sure if I like them if I like them as much um, this one I have the color tattoo in bold gold I figured this color would be pretty on but I have the other color tattoos I believe I have three other colors which I do love and this one just kind of makes my lids look dirty so I'm not sure if I'm using I should use it differently but I don't know I'm not really sure of this one it just looks like this and I thought it was like you know it's a really nice gold color I figured it's gonna be pretty on my lids but when once I apply it on my lids it makes my lids look dirty so I'm still iffy on that I'm still trying to figure out how to use it to make it look better I guess on my lids when applied and then the next one is something that it's called the health and beauty Aztec secret um, healing clay and Indian he healing clay and this one is calcium calcium bentonite it's like a hundred percent it's basically a face mask a powder face mask that you mix with water and uh, the tried this the other day and I was kind of freaked out because I've tried masks before if you know what masks feel like usually they harden you know and you're like wait for it to harden and then that's it this one is like cementing your face so basically I was like freaked out like the whole time when it was drying because it dries in patches usually it dries from like the outer corner and it goes into like the middle of your face so this one it makes your face like pulsate and kind of like it's like cementing your face so basically your face stretches out my lips were getting stretched out like like outwards and my I could I had a hard time closing my eyes because my eyes were like stretching this way because the mask was drying so hard like so I guess it's a good thing because it's like a really intense mask to use so I still have to try it another time to see like how clean it is but I was kind of freaked out how that worked so and it kind of dried my skin like a lot the next day so I think if you have 
active active acne that you want to get you know you want to really dry right away I think you should try this but just know that it's kind of it's a lot different than traditional mask and it's really 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 strong so just the word of warning so that's pretty much it for my favorites video um, thank you guys for watching and I wanted to say hi and hello to my new subscribers to my channel as well I know I got a lot of subscribers from my last my $20 tag video so I wanted to say welcome to my channel to all of you who have subscribed to my new subscribers and thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next video thank you guys bye